Hello, and welcome to Building a Multiplayer 3D Platformer by Pack Publishing. My name is Paul Mouviel. I'm currently a freelance consultant with a keen interest in virtual reality and Unreal Engine 4. My most recent work is that of DreamDesk VR, a virtual reality desktop application built in Unreal Engine 4, which differentiates itself from the competition by allowing users to display individual windows and applications within VR. In my spare time, I also author video tutorials on various aspects in Unreal Engine 4, usually using C++, which I haven't seen it covered adequately elsewhere. Among these tutorials, you can find topics such as using Leap Motion in VR and integrating GameSparks within Unreal Engine. Previous to jumping headfirst into Unreal Engine, I was building containerized web application deployment stacks built on Docker, building mobile applications, web applications, and always running my own little game development projects on the side. My unique blend of skills helps me build tutorials and course materials designed for both experienced and new developers. In Section 1, our goal is to create our controllable characters and the collectible system they will be interacting with. We start by importing our assets and building our base character class. With this class created, we add animations to it to bring them to life and connect them to our input system. When our characters are completed, we move on to our collectibles and power-up systems to allow players to collect items and use power-ups. In Section 2, we build out our main menu. I introduce you to the first of our core game loop classes, Game Instant. We proceed to building out our various menu screens for selecting game mode, and then connect all these screens to the code base so we can navigate between them. In Section 3, we dig into network sessions and network matches. I introduce you to Unreal Engine's online subsystem and its session interface, as well as to delegates and delegate handles for working with these systems. Afterwards, I take you through the process of implementing creating, starting, searching for, joining, updating, and destroying network matches in code using the online subsystem. In Section 4, we implement our core match loop, which will be server controlled once a match has been created or joined. This will give players the option to watch a match as a spectator or select from two characters to play as. Once these choices are made, we progress to the match in progress state and provide functionality for restarting the match. In Section 5, we flesh out our game by providing additional game mechanics in the form of additional world objects and enemies. We build out the mechanism for ending and winning a match as well as for displaying the match winner. Finally, in Section 6, we finish off by discussing features that can be added independently once the lesson's complete. I briefly explain how to add Steam platform integration within your project as well as alternatives to the Steam platform when it comes to online services such as leaderboards and achievements. Afterwards, I present you with a list of ideas and challenges for expanding on the current feature set to arrive at a full, production-ready title. To be able to fully understand this course, it's highly recommended that you have at least a foundational knowledge of C++, meaning that concepts such as classes and objects, user-defined data types, and control structures are well understood. Additionally, it would be beneficial to at least have a cursory knowledge of both the Unreal Editor and its interface, as well as a cursory knowledge of Unreal Engine Blueprint scripting and Unreal Engine using C++. This video course is designed to explain the ins and outs of creating a multiplayer 3D platformer in Unreal Engine using C++. I have tried to provide insight into the core Unreal Engine API and how the various available object types and available features work together in the grand scheme of a production application. Finally, I also strive to give insight into how an Unreal Engine project is structured internally and how to manage the link between C++ code and Blueprint scripting. So let's begin on this journey creating this game together. I hope you'll join me and I'll see you in the first lesson.